Do you really, really love your audience? Do you love your audience enough? I think when it comes to, do you love your audience, what exactly am I talking about? You might be thinking, you know, Darren, what do I mean by loving the audience? Let me share with you. When, when I first started as a trainer, I was teaching the English language to a group of young students. They were about, I think, seven years of age or eight years of age. And there was this one particular boy who really got on my nerves. Extremely, extremely annoying at that point in time, I was thinking, no matter what I did in class, ah, there's just no way to get this kid to settle down. And this kid was just really going to nerves and just running around. And the worst part was, every time I tell the kid, okay, it's time to settle down, listen to me, the kid would be rather defiant and would just try and challenge my authority and say, no, I don't want to do that. So I was really quite ready to just tell the uh, teaching coordinator and say that, can, can I just ditch this class? I, I was really young back then. I was thinking, I have no patience, no time for this. Uh, I'm here to do big things. And that was when my teaching mentor shared with me one thing that I'll never forget. My teaching mentor shared with me this. Do you love your students enough? By loving, why don't you try speaking with the boy in private and asking the boy, having a conversation with the boy and find out what exactly is going on? you may have a very different perspective. Before jumping to conclusion, try and understand the audience first. And it was at that point in time I said, okay, fine, I'll just give it a try. And that was what happened. I gave it a try. And the boy then shared and opened up with me, saying that he had been bullied since he was five years old, before entering primary school, and that bullying has been going on for a few years already. And he shared with me the reason why he was that defiant, trying to challenge authority, is because he doesn't want to be seen as weak. And, in fact, he wants to be seen as strong in front of all his other classmates so that he wouldn't get bullied again. It was at that point in time I then realised that, wow, I've not truly loved my audience enough. Have I truly taken the time to understand my audience members' needs? Have I truly taken the time to really find out some of the pain and the pleasure of my audience? So as fellow trainers today, it's not just about levelling up our skills, trying to be more engaging and all, and that's it. No, being a very good trainer, it's also about loving the audience enough, finding more about the audience, exactly what you can do to deliver value.